Hawaii's only female governor says women going through Hawaii's justice system is an issue she wishes she would have done more about in office. When it comes to affordable housing projects for women just out of prison, Linda Lingle says they're all transitional. Six months for most of them, and when that's finished, you're again out on your own. This is permanent supportive housing. So it's like an apartment building, except that we have a full-time social worker on site to help the women. Lingle is now with the Women's Prison Project, saying inmates often revert to survival crimes if they're released without support. Which means just to feed themselves, they, they put, end up stealing again, or they go back with people who were involved with drugs, or too many of them end up homeless because there is no support system. Mahalo Mai can change that for women and for their children. There's room for 24 residents who pay no more than 30% of their monthly income. They can select hand-painted artwork for their room and Housing Solutions says having options to choose furnishings is a key part of restoring dignity. They come and they get to pick which color comforter they want, which color towels, and you know, just that basic decision when they leave prison, they're just so grateful that they even get to pick that. One parolee who lives in a separate transition housing says Mohalamai will be huge for those who think they have nowhere to turn. So now, having this place as a support team and a support network, you don't have to revert to that. But it all starts with you, you know, you got to make the choice to want to change. You make the choice, but now there's a, a backing to that choice. Uh, there are about 220 women at the women's prison. We want to cut that in half in the next three years. That's a mighty goal. Yes, it is. And it's doable. We'll have more information on who is eligible to live in Mohalamai on KHON2.com. Bryce Moore. KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.